Hey everybody, Mike here, your dietitian at Weight Loss Institute of Arizona. So we're gonna do a quick experiment. So you know I harp on you all the time if you've had weight loss surgery to stay at a half a cup of food, right? So there we go, we got half a cup right there. Beautiful, it's all you need to be full technically. Okay, so then we got our salmon. Now any protein would work, but I like salmon because it's easy, it fits in here nicely. This is actually a full serving package right there and of course your serving will be two in the package a total of 220 calories pretty much all protein and fat 22 grams of protein in, in this portion so the question is can't is this a half a cup of salmon if you didn't have this around to put the salmon in would you know how much of salmon that actually is well one good way to know is you look at the amount um, Right there, it's three ounces. Now typically three ounces of most protein, well, maybe I shouldn't answer that until I do the experiment. I'll tell you in a minute, in terms of how many ounces of meat will fit. Now, this is flat, so you're gonna see that it's not thick, very thin, but usually three ounces of any protein is going to be the size of a deck of cards and the thickness of a deck of cards, so if I were to Kind of move that over a little bit, pile that up a little bit, you'll see that that's going to equal about the size of a deck of cards here. So if you don't have a half cup measurement with you, you can kind of estimate what three ounces of protein would look like there. So see that? Right there. So now we're going to take this and we're going to say, okay, well, now you can squish a lot into a half a cup, right? So I'm pretty sure you're all guessing right now that probably will fit in there, but let's just double check. We'll move that. I only have one hand here, but we'll move this. We'll throw that in there. Now we don't want to push it too much. When you're eating, you don't want to squish it all the way down, but that really didn't take that much effort for me. You can see there, there's some extra space down there. So it pretty much fits nice and nicely in there, doesn't it? Three ounces. Now we can put the lid on, no problem. And there's my there's my three ounce serving. Enough food to satisfy most post-op gastric sleeve or lap and patients, of course, those lap and patients having enough fluid in their band to be able to eat this amount. Somebody who doesn't have weight loss surgery may not necessarily eat that much more than this. Um, there's only so much locks that you can eat at one sitting until the salt just gets you. <laughs> but, um, the, the, non, the non weight loss surgery patient would have a lot of probably uh, stuff with it. Whereas if you're watching this and you have weight loss surgery, technically just eating that alone should put you to the point of fullness, but you can couple it with something else, um, vegetable, a little bit of uh, lettuce to eat with it. But as you saw, it does, this is a half a cup, three ounces, three ounces of weight of meat. So anytime you're going shopping, you know that three ounces is gonna be about the serving size for you. All right, hopefully, hopefully that helped you a little bit. Um, check back for some more videos, quick videos on these types of topics. Thanks.